then let's come to csat csat has been an had been a nightmare for me in my first attempt uh, but uh, so everyone told me it's just 66 marks uh, it's just 30 35 questions and you will be able to do it so uh, what i did i just picked up three previous year question i solved them i got 78 80 in the tests and i went on to give my csat paper Uh, I got 65, but I failed. I failed in the CSAT paper, and it was very difficult for me. I think I attempted five questions, uh, reasoning and maths included. That's it, and I think two out of them would have been correct. I was this weak in mathematics and reasoning because I had lost touch of all of those subjects. So I devoted a lot of time in CSAT next year, and this year I got some 79 point something. Not again, not a very good score, but I got saved. So what I did for CSAT. is that divide it into two parts reasoning and maths and reading comprehension now reading comprehension has been my strong point even this year i attempted 32 33 questions of reading and none of them were wrong reading comprehension do it only when you are very confident very confident otherwise till the last day when your prelims results are not out you will be in a dilemma whether you have cleared your prelims or not uh, if you are good in maths and reasoning even then if you have been a very nice engineer iit iim please practice just practice five or six papers i have seen my friends who are very good in maths exceptionally good still they have managed to get 80 90 and uh, they have that constant stress practice csat it also makes you very uh, it also refreshes you during the day uh, you have been reading ancient history and uh, modern history and then you go and go back and do some mathematics it refreshes you so do that practice csat every day i would say divide it into reasoning maths and uh, the reading comprehension portion and you do not need to pick up very difficult parts for those people who did not have maths uh, you do not need to pick up permutation combination or uh, mensuration the chapters you have not done don't do it now do chapters like proportion proportion percentage age these are very easy to do you find it difficult only because you have the initial inertia to not do it once you start doing it you get very interested in doing that and the reasoning is very very interesting it's very interesting you do all of those blood relations syllogisms and for that you can also refer to youtube videos uh, all of those competition uh, videos that come they teach you some tricks uh, to solve it in like 2 minutes 3 minutes you can go through them also and uh, in reading comprehension the most important thing is pyq in in fact in the entire prelims the most important thing is pyq uh, again in my first attempt i did not have the time to do pyq but in my second attempt uh, i did pyq i made pyq a separate subject and i did it so extensively so how i did that suppose i'm studying polity so i would go through the pyq of economics so that i have a touch with two subjects at once and not just doing polity and then pyq of polity because that makes it very monotonous for you but do pyqs if not uh, from 1980s 70s do it at least from 2001 do it from 2001 20 year pyq also do the uh, options so everyone has been talking i also saw it in topper talks and everyone that you need to analyze the other options also because those other options help you in eliminating the other options in examination so you can do that also for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon